Yo guys, it's up Shadow here and welcome back to another episode of Kenshi. Right, so today we're uh getting attacked. No, not right. Really. Well, actually we're shooting at something, so um but today I do want uh, to send um bomb no, not bombing anger, silver shade because silver shade is I think still the best sneaking um person of the Oh god, they're trapped in the house again, aren't they? Yeah, they're trapped again. Jesus Christ. Um, anyway, I want to send them to uh, a place. Well, Silvershade, that is. Uh, I think I want to send him to Raptor Island. Just, to, you know, as a scouting unit. I don't want to do, like, hardcore exploration going into every ruin. I just want to scout what's there, you know. Um... But before I go into that more details, uh, let me tell you a little story real quick. Um, before I started recording, something happened. And it's entirely my fault and I should have known better. Um, so, you must know, in my office, um, to my right, like literally to my right, there's, there's a wall. And on that wall I have a few posters put up and... Now that I say this out loud, it's kind of interesting. I, uh, You know, you always associate this stuff kind of with teenagers, don't you? Like, oh yeah, they put up posters in their room and whatnot. But yeah, I have a few posters here, you know, like uh, gaming stuff like Minecraft, Diablo, and then a few metal band posters, you know, just, I don't know, personalizing my room, right? And these posters are holed up there with thumbtacks. I think you call them thumbtacks, these little... Um, like white base and then a little uh, spiky bit at the front and you can push them into, you know, softer walls. Um, so I had these, right? And um, I was kind of yesterday, I think. Oh, I, I think I'll have to reload. Uh, I either reload or try to fix pathing because they cannot even go in there anymore. But anyway, yesterday I was kind of just randomly looking over, you know, just for some reason, admiring my posters, and I was like, hmm, shit, one of the thumbtacks is missing. And, you know, that can happen, they're not, I, I didn't push them in with all my force. I didn't hammer them in, I just pushed them in, basically, so it's possible that one of them fell out, especially because my fan is exactly on the opposite side of that wall, and it's basically blowing in that direction, so the posters are tending, to, they do tend to move a bit, you know. So, I was thinking, like, hmm, I should probably look for that thumbtack, because by my luck, that thing is lying with the, the spiky bit, you know, right up and uh, I'm gonna stand on it. And you know, I'm also kind of was thinking, hmm, maybe the cats get, would get a hold of it and it would play with the, it and it's it's terrible. And then, literally like 10 minutes later, I, I completely forgot about it again. And just before I started recording today, I, I came home from work. Because for once in a while I was at the office again for something, so I came back from work. I, I walked into my room, I took like three steps into the room and I sh suddenly felt like a sharp pain in my foot and I'm like, God damn it! <laughs> the past has come to haunt me again! <laughs> and yeah, stood off the, on the thumbtack. Well, good news, I found it now! <laughs> so yeah. Uh, but yeah, it's not, it's not terrible because, you know, I think at the, at, at least my foot... You know, at the at the base of your foot, you do have quite thick skin, so it's not like terrible, and it's not like a thumbtack is a brutal instrument that can maim you if you stand on it. It's not like a, I don't know, a ten inch nail or something. I don't know, but you know, it's still that moment when you stand on it, you're like, yeah, damn it! <laughs> I remember, I think as a child, I once stood on like ten of them. I think I dropped like a, a container of them, and then I wanted to. Because I was a child, I think I probably wanted to go tell mom or something. And I completely forgot that they were on the floor and I just stood on them. <laughs> I was pretty sure I once had like 10 of them in my foot. Oh well, anyway. Not too bad. But still, kind of funny. Alright, so. I, you know, I just thought because... Um, the beep is obviously still at the Black Library. Um, he will 
be there until tomorrow at least so we can just you know scour for some more recipes then i'll send them back and um we're still waiting for the next assault of the the holy nation and so i thought you know might as well send silvershade out to do something and silvershade is i think the best sneaker he's a very good archer so he should be quite fine he also has a lot of equipment with him Actually, I just realized he has no food with him. Clever. And also, I cannot really go to the Hive Village, can I? You know what? Let's go to Mongrel. We'll all take a bee tour to Mongrel. Um, get some food supplies. And then we'll go to Raptor Island. It kind of sounds like a, a Hollywood Day destination. This summer, come to Raptor Island and its beautiful sandy beaches. Yes, we have a ton of raptors here, but they all, they're, they're, you know, they only eat plants, unless you provoke them, which you shouldn't. But you're probably gonna do it anyway, because you're drunk, because you're on holiday. <laughs> the Ibiza of, like, Kenshi or something, I don't know. Oh, there was, a, like, an RPG game that had, like, a version of, like, Ibiza uh, in it. I think it was, like, a German RPG from a German game studio. What was it called? I think it was called Sacred. That was a really cool game back in the day. This was a Sacred 2. And I think that was very good as well. It had like in-game music from Blind Guardian. And I think the band was in the game as well. As characters. So yeah, it was a very interesting game. It, it, it was like an RPG basically. But it was not in the traditional way where you would just um, level up your character and um, choose skills while you level up. The skilling was done with like runes, I think, that you equipped. It was not quite like Path of Exile, but something along those lines. And I couldn't quite remember how that worked, but yeah. And you had like weird freaking character classes. There was like a vampire knight... That you could play um, a gladiator that was in the German version was voiced by the synchro, uh, you know, like the um, the German voice of Vin Diesel. I actually don't know if the English voice was Vin Diesel. It would have been very really funny, but the German voice was definitely the the German version of Vin Diesel. It was pretty hilarious. Um, what else was there? There was like a mage, I think, that was pretty standard. Uh, th there were very strange character classes, not like standard. I think there was a dark elf. I think there were like, uh, not classes, but there were just like defined characters. So there was the, the vampire knight, the human gladiator, there was a dark elf, mm, like, warlock. I don't know what you call that guy. Or assassin or something, a high elf, mage slash archer, like an, a human mage and i think there was a few more and then in sacred 2 there was a few more yeah just weird uh, but interesting characters and then you just go through the world and slay things and do quests but there was so many like stupid references again there was like i think in the first sacred there was like an island like a desert island where, where, where orcs would go to to um basically have a holiday and it was basically i I'm not sure if it was... Oh no, it was not Ibiza, it was M Mallorca. But it was called Mal Orc, uh, you know? As in orcs go there. Yeah, yeah, it was... Now that I'm looking back on it and ex explaining it like that, it doesn't sound very clever, but as a teenager, I, I had fun with this game. That was so funny. Good humor as well in the game, I don't know. But yeah, I think it was mainly a German game. I don't think it was... I I'm not even sure, but I think it was more in the European room that that was a, a, a thing. But I don't know. Ooh, there's a village. Should we go to that village? Just see what it is? We're uh, just get, uh, getting new intelligence here. Uh, apparently we haven't been around here too much. So maybe we'll find some... Uh, I don't know. Some labs, perhaps, even? Ooh. Ooh, is that... Uh, these, these are these wall tiles. Or wall houses. 
Uh, it's just called a village. I cannot quite tell if it's a good village or a bad one. Oh. Ah. Oh, a dead cat. A suspicious settler. Shall we talk with the suspicious settler? Who are you? What do you want? Go away and leave us be! Supplies, shelter. This is how you normally treat strangers? Hmm. Let's go with that. Uh, sorry for being so cold. We have lots of bandit raids around these parts recently. Just trying to protect my family, it's all. Don't go much... Don't got much, but you can take a look at my supplies. Bandits? Need protection? Aye, I do. Can't afford to pay it, though. I'm wiped out. Can barely afford to feed my family. But I, what can you do? Just gotta suck it up and make it do with the old sword and the old dog. Don't worry, you're safe while I am around. Hope so. See, he has some fish. Gatterer village. Interesting. Is there more people here? Oh, look. Settler's pup. Beloved goat. Aw. That's cute. Is there more people here? Hello. Dead cat fisherman. So yeah, they're just dead cats, I guess. Dead cat fisherman. Huh. Well, you know. Cool. Interesting little village. Discovered settled nomad village. I mean, we're passing by there anyway, so we might as well get, take a look. Discovered village. Oh, there's a lot of like villages around here. That's interesting. I can see the other village right over there as well It's like a community of villages here. They should like band together. They would have a way better chance of uh, uh, Warding off bandits or is one of them a bandit village? What do you reckon? Now oh, this is even completely closed off. I cannot even go in there Hmm this is also called a Gatterer village, so I assume they're friendly, but probably, yeah, again, if they had lots of bandit raids, they're probably a bit, um, you know, suspicious of uh, foreigners, especially stickmen foreigners. They could be fogmen. Do they? I mean, they're close to the fog islands. They must have heard of the fogmen. Well, let's take a look at the nomad village. That looks a little bit different. They have different building style. I wish I could build stuff like that. These kind of buildings, you know, like on the stilts. That would be so cool, especially if you build like in the swamp area. I wish you could build these things, but somehow the game doesn't let you do it. It's kind of sad. Or at least I, I think. And where's the, these ones drifted in from? Oh, I cannot even talk. Oh, I can talk to you. Need an animal? Goats, bone dogs, scarrows. Can buy pretty much anything from this guy. Cool. So yeah, nomads, obviously nomads trade animals. That's how, what they do. Okay. So it's getting dark, which I personally think is the perfect timing to uh, go for a swim, right? It's the best idea. Go for a swim in the night. Go, Silver Shade, go. First, uh, we're gonna go to this bit of the island. And see uh, what we find. I guess raptors, but hey, I, I mean... You know, discovered raptor island. Yeah, literally. Okay. I guess they would have to do it like this, so... Uh, well, actually, the, the area is called Raptor Island. Just in the normal map, you wouldn't see it like this. You would only notice it when you get close enough, I suppose. Okay. Or is it called Raptor Island? Hold on. Does this look like a raptor? No, not really, right? There must be raptors on here. 
Oh. I've never seen these birds around. What the hell? That's new. There's swamp raptors. All right. So there's definitely raptors here. Oh, yeah. Look, there's a ton of them. They're all over the place here. I'm pretty sure if you wanted to farm, like, leather and stuff, you could go over here and just have an absolute field day. Oh, 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 mega raptor. Oh, look at this bad boy. He has 2,300, uh, well, that's blood health, but 1,039 of each limb. God damn. But you know what the, what the sad part about um, this is? There's not even cool loot over here. All of this stuff is pretty pointless. Yeah, I mean, Silver Shade, he could probably fight him, but there's, like, no effing reason to do that. Right? I wonder if we attack him, if all the raptors on the island will turn hostile. <laughs> you know, should I ever decide to go down hunt down this raptor i think what we'll do is we'll come over here and then we'll build a little outpost basically with like a set of walls with just guns in every direction and then we'll just aggro one of the raptors and then we just start to gun them down with like the multi-barreled uh freaking um harpoon guns you know what i mean that would be kind of funny but yeah I mean, since we're here, do we swim over to Berserker Country? I think we we haven't been there before as well. So we might as well. Since we're out and about... Where are you swimming? Oh no, actually, that is right. That is the right direction. I'm stupid. It's kind of interesting. You see this this line here? It's kind of hard to see because it's super dark. But there's like a, a, a lit up line here. Very strange. It's looking... It looks like um, <laughs> Silver Shade is swimming in blood right now. Or like orange soda. One of the... One of both, I suppose. Yeah, well... Okay, so Berserker Country. I mean, that's pretty. It's pretty clear what we'll find here, right? Berserkers. But are these like the um, um, the Shek Berserkers? Because I thought they were more like down here and not up here. You know what I mean? I guess we'll think. Oh, hello. No, it is actually Shek Berserkers. Huh. Interesting. They've made their way all up here. I guess. Well, let's just run around a bit and see if we discover something. See if we get something interesting here. I mean, we have some interesting geographical, like, tiny lake. Is Are these even lakes? They look like lakes. Although on the map they don't. Or not really, but, you know. Was this there like a berserker citadel or something? I don't know. Let's continue on to Purple Sands. Why not? I don't know. I just want to kind of find a... Um, like a new lab. I kind of want to find more AI cores, but somehow... Oh, are these raptors? Oh no, they're Garus. All yeah, right. But somehow, I just don't seem to find anything else. Oh, metal spiders here all over the place. Oh, there's two live ones. Oh boy. Oh boy, <laughs> that's a fun fight. I kind of want to watch this. Jesus Christ. 
<laughs> He's racking off, off kills here. Oh, okay, okay, they got him, they got him. But he's, he has, like, uh, disabled at least two of them, and he is, yeah, you're, you're probably gonna die, mate. I'm sorry to tell you, but, uh, doesn't look that good. Um, now that I'm thinking of it, did we ever go to that cat? Like, completely? Did we go near it? And I'm not quite sure anymore if we were there before. You know? I cannot quite remember. Okay, we discovered a village. And something else, right? Oh, what is that? Ooh, a cooking pit with human remains on it. Probably a cannibal camp. If I had to guess. There's just some stuff laying around here. Yeah, cannibals. So the villages, are they also cannibal villages or are these like... I mean, they're so close to a cannibal camp. They are cannibal villages, that's interesting. Let's, let's enable sneaking mode, shall we? So wait, is that cat a cannibal city? Oh, look at these cages! I want to build cages like that. They look awesome. Mm, it's a bit risky what Silver Shade is doing there, but hey. No risk, no fun, right? Cannibal village. So that cat is completely cannibalized by this at this point. They're like everywhere. There's hundreds of them roaming around. Jesus. I mean, if you want to have some combat training, I think this would be the place, right? Just absolutely, just be prepared to fight and then you can train all day long. But yeah, um, interesting. Is that that cat? Ooh. Yeah, looks like it. Do they have like different classes of cannibals? So there's cannibals and then... Yeah, they're all called cannibal. They look different. But they're definitely all called cannibals. And yeah, this is dead cat. Not much left of it, it seems. Cannibal cat pitle. <laughs> it's kind of interesting how from far it's named dead cat and when you come closer it's cannibal capital. Cannibal central, essentially. It's just sitting around. There's nobody in the cages or anything. No. Well, now we know. And that village is obviously is also going to be a... Uh, Silver Shade, that wasn't smart. But hey, there you go. You're fast. You don't care. That would be new if he cared. Is it also just me, but it, it feels like when I enable stealth, he's not that much slower? Know what I mean? No, not really. What are they fighting here? Oh, shrieking bandits versus cannibals. <laughs> That's kind of fun. I find this interesting, you know, these like circles they have here, you know? I find those kind of interesting. Do have to say. Okay. Another cannibal village, I suppose. Ah, yeah, well, not really the most successful trip, but you know. I think it was cool to just uh, explore the map a bit more. Especially, I, I just wanted to get confirmation for Raptor Island. I mean, it's in the name. 
pretty much. I know that. Have we explored this ruin before? Um. Huh. Because it's not marked in red. You know what I mean? Suspicious lab. What? Is that new? Or did I just not get in here? Okay, that is suspicious. Oh, man. So <laughs> uh, just right now that that family guy thing came into my head with uh, where they lure one, one dude with, uh, with candy. Ooh, piece of candy. Ooh, piece of candy. Ooh, piece of candy. Ooh, piece of candy. <laughs> like in a you know, until he's in a cage. Oh man, what's what's gotta be up? <laughs> oh, that's genius! I love it. This is so good. Oh my god, <laughs> you're geniuses. That cannibals are so intelligent that they do this. I I kind of love that. And then on the top floor. Well, there are some chests up here. <laughs> Do we want to try and sneak by these guys? I kind of feel we can't, but... <laughs> nope! <laughs> the suspicious lab. Well, we got some freaking uh, thing out of it. Uh... I just say, uh, God, they're quick, aren't they? Uh, we got some ancient secret books. The noise, man, the noise of their feet. Oh, wow, do I really? Am I able to, like, one shot these guys? Sometimes. Yeah, pretty much. Okay. Uh, do we... Do we... I mean, we, it's been a while since we had a fight. Funk. Okay, so... These guys, the normal cannibals take a bit more than uh, the scra scrawny cannibals, I suppose. Well, makes sense. Watch out, there's one below. <laughs> Silver Shade's gonna have some fun with cannibals. Oh man. Well, that's how it goes. Funk. Yeah, we can dispatch the smaller ones with one bolt each. It's pretty cool. I suppose, but yeah. There you go. Oh, one of them just dropped, probably from blood loss. <laughs> I guess that's the thing about the um, these ranged weapons. They really make the blood loss go through the roof. There you go, another one down. I mean, we, we can totally dispatch these cannibals, can't we? I mean, if we were four, the whole team, we would absolutely put them full of holes in, in minutes, but hey, it's Silver Shade alone, so give him a little bit of time here. Funk! One of the little ones down. The damage he deals with the freaking crossbow at this point is also quite impressive. I mean, he's on 72 skill-wise. That's I mean, impressive in itself, so. And yeah, I think he's one of my best scouts. Oh, 100 damage outright. Just destroyed pretty much one of his limbs. Ooh. Get him. Ah, don't get hacked. That's not smart. That's not a smart plan, Silvershade. Although, come on, cannibals. I mean, he... Look at look at Silver Shade. There's not much meat on that thing. You don't want that, right? You rather would eat somebody like... I don't know. 
Kang. Kang has probably a good amount of meat on him, doesn't he? <laughs> Funk. Another one. Oh, the suspicious laugh. That that's pretty great. I mean, whoever had the idea for that, well done. I should have seen it coming that it was cannibals, but somehow I didn't associate cannibals with such a smart, st well, smart strategy, I say. Cl clever? Is clever smart? Is that the right word? I don't know. But yeah, anyways, that was kind of fun. <laughs> Funk. Oh, really? A miss? That was kind of sad. Go oh, uh, Jesus. <laughs> Running against the wall. All right, just a few more to go. Funk. <laughs> Funk. And another one. Boop. I mean, these two are almost... Oh, look, another one got up again. Oh, he actually um, bandaged himself. Well done. Ow! Stop! You jerk! Boom! Yeah, there you go. Maybe I should just go to them and uh, relieve them of their bandages. Let's see, do they even have big bandages? Oh yeah, they do have bandages. Hmm. Let's just put some medicine on this. Oh man. Just cap this guy again. <laughs> Left leg, right leg. <laughs> There's another scene that always pops into my head when I see something like that. Um, if you've ever seen uh, Ace Ventura, uh, I think it's the second one. When he, um, there's like, a, where he does a, is it a duel against one of the tribal, um, severed cannibal scaffs the right leg. Wow, that's an, that's an own item. Yeah, that looks like gangrenous, yellowy. Mm. But yeah, anyway, in the, the scene with Ace Ventura, when he gets a spear thrown as his, as his left leg and then at his right leg and he's like, ah, and he's pointing at them. Yeah. And so it always pops into my head when you see something like that. <laughs> right. I mean, there, there must be a whole bunch more up there, I'm sure. And some of the other ones will uh, slip out of unconsciousness soon. But, you know, I'm quick. I can dodge. It's fine. Hello. I came here to party. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Never mind. Apparently, you're not in a party mood, are you? Get wrecked. God, they're quick. Some of these are really quick, aren't they? It's kind of weird because some of sometimes they're not like in 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 this mode here, the attack mode where they slowly like sh um, shovel towards you. They're in the running mode, and that's even more dangerous. Once you get them in this like shuffling mode, it's easier to dodge them. So if I run too too far away, I they will go into running mode again. So that's why I have to kind of keep close to them. Ah, was that a miss or did I? Oh, I didn't shoot, I think. Okay, one of the scrawny ones eliminated. He took his second arrow already. He's a tank, man. It's like a shooting gallery. I mean, it's also probably good on um, crossbow training, I would I would assume. Right. What was I on? 72? And now I'm 73 already, see? Good training. <laughs> Ring around the rosy. Your head is full of arrows. You posy. Or something. 
I don't know how that song goes, actually. There's like a, a something similar that we always sung in Swiss German. S same sentiment, but I don't think it went the same way. Come on. Oh. Whoa, what? What? <laughs> that was weird. It almost looked like he was about to attack his brethren there. Get in. Oh, ow! Damn it. Never bring a sword to a crossbow fight. Sunk. <laughs> oh, bodies littered all over the place. Now oh, let's just get this. Go back in. Oh look, there's another candidate. Is he all yeah, he's already hurt. Yeah, baby. <laughs> Oh, did we clear? Nah, not quite. Almost. Looks like we have two more. Sometimes there's a weird thing that happens with the shooting animation when I, like, cancel the animation right before he's about to shoot. And then, oh! Oh my, he just hacked him to pieces. And then it's they basically um, the shooting animation doesn't play anymore the next time I I attack, but the attack still gets like done, so it just instantly deals damage. It's it's kind of weird, but uh, what? What? Did he just bring like? Oh, he brought a shrieking bandit up. That's interesting. Hello, sir! Did I interrupt you while uh, you, you got snacks? <laughs> That's weird. Cool! I mean, let's see what we have up here. Combat cleaver? Yeah, that's not worth it. Oh, a scout leg specialist. Yeah, we'll take that. What else? Some cats. That's not really worth it. Nothing here. Nothing here. Yeah, that probably wasn't the most worthwhile elaborate cooking. Got caught stealing. Like I care. Something is cooking down there. I wonder if it's a human. <laughs> ah, another scout leg. It's... Oh, okay, now we got both uh, left and right. Cool. Oh, hello. I mean, none of this is really good, but it's interesting. A lot of uh, different, like, armor pieces, samurai helmets... It almost feels like this is stuff that they stole off their victims before they ate them and they just dumped it up here, you know what I mean? Oh, more cats. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, you know, could have been worse, I suppose, but still. Also, not quite... Oh, look, there's a few more cannibals up and running. Oh, that was a mean combo. Shoot him in the chest and then while he's recoiling, just absolutely finish him. Oh, well done, Silver Shade. Oh, what a chat. What an absolute chat he is. Look at him. Wait. Hold. Oh, oh that was a headshot, I think. <laughs> So it said something about cooking. So is there like a, a guy imprisoned somewhere down here or what? I cannot quite tell. Corpse disposal. Oh, so these are basically kind of like... So wait, if I pick this guy... Well, they're not corpses yet. I guess that doesn't work, but... 
So I could probably uh, pick corpses up and just dump them in the, into the cooking pit, I assume. Oh, look, there's more uh, side angled. All right, can I get this one? Yeah, nothing. Ah, yeah, not the most. I mean, look, it's it's five ancient science books. I I don't want to say that's terrible or anything, but of course I'm still kind of looking for AI cores, you know. But still, that was fun. That was a fun experience. <laughs> ten out of ten would uh, cannibalize again. Um, oh my god. Looks like I just ran into what into a raid or something. Oh, sand, a skeleton. We have to help the skeleton. Help him. Let's go, Silver Shades. Take some heat off of him. Come on. They're all scrawny cannibal cannibals. They're terrible. Oh, damn it! They're coming from the other side too. Boom, okay. So we, we split a bit of attention off. There's a spider coming up. Hmm. Maybe the skeleton beckoned to the spider for help. See, it happened again where it just... Uh, it shot even though the animation wasn't really playing. It was kind of a trick shot. Bong, again. <laughs> I really wish that Sand would then help, um, you know, be thankful for what I'm doing here, but I'm pretty sure he won't really recognize it. Funk. But you know, it just feels like the right thing to do here, right? Also, I think he's off the tech hunters, and I'm I'm pretty okay with the tech hunters. Oh shit! Ooh, look. <laughs> Silver Shade going into melee combat like a boss. <laughs> it's kind of risky because um, if I go KO, I'm, I'm done for. Because I don't have backup. But still, it's kind of funny seeing Silver Shade just wasting these fools. There's another one down. Come on, Silver Shade. Mmm, show him. Yeah, boy. Oh, and he just, like, 360 no scope this guy into next week, man. <laughs> oh, just don't hit sand, okay? Oh, nice shot. How dare you crawl away from battle, you fool. Is he, like, unarmed? Does he just kick their asses? I think he is. Literally kicking their asses. That's a cool scene, by the way. On the bridge in the rain. Woo! Whoa, that was execution style. Awesome! Can we? Oh, we cannot first aid him because we don't have a, a, a repair kit. Yeah, well, son. I hope you appreciate our generosity today. I mean, it felt like he could have dealt with most of them, but maybe he would have been very worn down. But hey, that was cool. So, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time and uh, take care.